long and uncomfortable night for nearly five dozen people. The Chesapeake residents could not go home. A fire at their apartment complex forced them out overnight. Deanna LeBlanc is live now at the Heron's Landing Apartments, where, Deanna, we can hear those fire alarms going off behind you again. Do you know what's happening there? Well, Katie, there's no one in the building and there's no sign of any fire, but just a few minutes ago I saw a restoration company pull in and, and we know that there's a lot of flooding in this building right now and I believe they're just testing the system right now. There is one security guard here and I've been trying to track him down to get an answer, but right now we think they're just testing the system. There's no real emergency here, but there was last night, it was a real chain reaction to that fire that kept 58 people from sleeping in their apartments. Firefighters came around 10:30 last night. They found a kitchen fire working in a second floor apartment, but that set off several sprinklers in several of the units. That caused water damage in a lot of the first and the second floor. Now because of that water damage, the fire department decided to turn the electricity off in the building. That meant no one in this building could sleep here last night, and that's why we say we know the building is unoccupied right now, and we're wondering if perhaps these alarms are sounding because they're working on restoring the electricity here. But like I mentioned, I'm going to try and track down that security guard and get some answers. I did see a back door open here, and we can see a good amount of standing water in there, so we're going to try and get you some answers as to why these alarms are sounding, and as soon as we do, we'll bring you an update. Live in Chesapeake, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.